Welcome back to MCOC Al Bundy Rules. I got the Bishop tutorial jumping right in starting with the Persistent Power Meter. We will see in this fight starting with the Zero. So first fight, you can actually start higher with synergies. I'll talk more about synergies later, but you saw zero bars as I'm starting this fight. So what I'm going to do is go through a few fights in order to see how you will start based on how you end. So what we're seeing is the Mastery Over Time enables to start the fight 100% of the previous fight question. That's for Special 1 and 2 costs no power when activated. So if you end the fight with a Special 1 or a Special 2 and the fight ends then, you are going to start the next fight with that Special 1 or Special 2 as appropriate. If it doesn't end, then you're going to lose that many bars of power as far, as far as how much it will cost. So you want to try to end the fights on S1 or S2 or just end that fight with an S1 or S2. S3 is going to be different though and I'm going to explain that in a moment. So we saw that first fight I ended with one bar of power. You see that one right there showing I'm starting with the persistent one. That means I ended last fight with one bar of power. We see the foresight one bar. I'm going to speak more about foresight later and we see up top corner by the picture bishop I start I have that one that's showing I started the fight with one there's also extra rewards you get on foresight based on how many bars of power you start which I again I'm going to explain later but you do see you get a massive advantage when you properly use this as you can in some of these fights very quick so we saw I ended that fight with two bars of power which means yeah you guessed it I'll be starting this fight with two bars of power we see the two right there with bishop we're going to see the two when we start on up right there, four side two bars, and the two persistent up top as well. I want to start the next fight with three bars of power, so I'm going to kind of fast forward a little bit to the end of this fight. I'm not going to use any specials. If you end this fight with the special three, you will start back with zero bars of power on the next fight. That does not carry over like the one and two. So I ended this fight with three bars of power. That means the next fight I do, as we're going to see, I'm going to start with the foresight of three. Again, I get extra benefits with foresight. I will explain in the very, very new future. And we're going to see right over here, we see that three. So I ended with three, four balls, three full bars of power. See the foresight three. We start, see, I start off with three. How's that for a major, major tactical advantage for in fights? So keep in mind, make sure you were a, uh, Take notes or mental notes as far as how I did that. One and two, you can end your fight with a special one or a special two and start the next fight with that special one or two as appropriate. Special three, you cannot end the fight with a special three or you will start with zero bars of power. So if you're getting close to a special three, just end the fight without the special. And we see started right there with special. You will notice I usually don't start the fight immediately with the special because I'm building up prowess first. And I'm going to explain that in a little bit right here. So these are always active. We get the major energy resistance. Every one second energy damage, three passive prowess. Absorbing kinetic energy of blocking or being struck gains those six. Uh, we're, I'm getting extra here because this is a skill opponent. I get those prowess plus one on skill opponents. So if you got the class advantage, you can go very quickly here on that energy damage you gain three so I took some energy damage there on purpose to show you I gained three prowess for that so those are some ways to get prowess easiest way honestly is, is just parry parry all of Bishop's personal passive prowess effects increase special attack damage by 10% and when I say the easiest way to parry, that's assuming Kabam ever fixes the parry bug that's still there. Overloaded. When he has more than 30 prowess, or if he's bleeding, shocked, or incinerated, they begin consuming his person prowess one at a time. Gets faster the longer he's been overloading. If Bishop's suffering from one of those, each time he consumes a prowess, this way he also deals energy damage to his opponent, scaling with base attacks. So consuming those can give them damage so keep in mind and I'm going to talk more about managing those in a bit blocking is a good way for regeneration you convert one personal prowess into regeneration sure it's small amounts 100 health however that adds up you can do this unlimited pretty much and each just keep pairing 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 then convert them on over as we see each prowess also has a hundred percent chance to purify a bleed debuff so that is awesome especially for people like me who run suicide masteries and certain fights and nodes. So we see that regeneration right there. It's easy to do. All right. We we'll see see how they keep popping up to five up to five at a time, and we'll see how the prowess are going down and the regeneration are going. Again, it's not a ton of regeneration, but it is something very nice. So looking up on over here. 
continuing to take a look at their generation. Now let's go to debuff feedback. Each time an opponent purifies a debuff, they instantly receive the energy damage. Watch the energy damage coming. Skill champs also receive passive um, if it was a stun that was purified. So that's a good thing, especially on some of those uh, skill champs. Special attacks. After each special attack rating, you get some benefits. So after the special attack finishes, gain a steady release passive for 10 seconds on the special one. While active for nearly a second, three quarters of a second, you inflict incinerate. So watch as the incinerate kind of go there as I stay close. So if you use an S1, simply try to stay close and it's going to keep doing incinerates. S2 is the good damage dealer. We're going to talk more about that in a bit. Last hit, 100% chance to inflict incinerate debuff. We see there, lasting 10 seconds, deal 70% of the total damage dealt by the special. So 70% of the damage you dealt with your S2, meaning the more prowess the better, the more incinerate you do. So you get all some pretty good scaling massive damage there. Special 3, 100% chance to inflict non-stacking energy vulnerability, reducing the resistance by over 1,200 for 20 seconds against enemies at full health this energy vulnerability becomes indefinite meaning if you start the fight with a three a special three based on how you ended the last fight you can start the three right off and you can make that energy um item right there for the entire fight so it could be good to start off the fight with an s3 before you do any real damage signature ability here so this is i mentioned previously foresight you get different things based on how the fight if you start the fight with zero you're going to get unblockable when you have to depend on your sig how many prowess you have in this case 25 or more if you start the fight with one bar or more well one bar of power which is going to be the case in this upcoming fight will gain while blocking you gain stun immunity and enemies lose 26.5 one percent ability accuracy that percent will scale so that goes up as we see so but this is a good ability for something like um apocalypse you go into an apocalypse fight with one bar of power you don't have to worry about getting stunned if you're blocking and i'm going through especially if he is at a max at a boss something like that other fights previous to him especially with the Bishop being a mutant. So now we're starting this fight with two bars. So special attacks leave the target incinerated for 24.6. Again, scales goes up with SIG of the special damage dealt over 10 seconds. So we will see that extra incinerate damage there with the special two. So that's some good items right there. It's available. And then we will see when we start with three bars of power coming up. So when we start the fight with three bars of power meaning we ended the last five with three bars remaining you will start the five with steady release active for 5.83 seconds in this case again scales based off of sig so that amount of time can go up with the higher level of sig so we see the foresight three and we see the steady release in purple or pink whatever color that is and we see the timer up top as it continues to go so that is something that you will start there so signature ability can have some nice benefits Nothing 100% needed, but something pretty helpful. Here's synergies. So the one with Psylocke, you can see we can opponents petrify before one second, power gain, and regeneration. Then the other ones, if you just want to start a fight stacked, just bring it, just go in with a team of like three of these, either Storm, Electro, um, some of these other two coming down, Doctor Strange, because you get two prowess each and one bar of power. So if you go in with three, you can start every single fight with three bars of power. If you bring in three of these with you, and you would gain with six prowess or cy Cyclops. So have a team of three of them. Every fight you start with three bars of power, no matter how you ended the fight, if you so choose to do so, and some extra prowess you would start off with too. Tip one, for great damage, his best damage is come, really comes from the S2 and a lot of prowess. So you're going to want to do multiple parries. So just keep parrying, parrying, parrying to bring up those prowess. So bring up the prowess other way based on the five parries, usually the easiest. You want to get over 30, okay? You want to get over those 30, and then you're going to do the S2. So we're going to see once we get 30, we got the overload. You see how they start going down. I got some more right there. I was trying to get to the S2 in time, but still over 30, I got right there. And you're going to see some good damage. The damage goes quick, but when you factor in how much on the S2, when you factor in the uh, the d damage over time, you'll get 50, 100,000 damage off of this. is just an R3 five star, by the way. This is only an R3. So imagine a much higher level champ and the kind of damage you do right there so again i'm building going to build up my prowess and getting my energy up back to two i'm going to build up my prowess meaning just some parries is usually a pretty easy way to do it so i got two bars of power i got prowess i got 18 a little bit easier again with skill 
champs, two skilled defenders going against me. I'm at 26. I'm going to get at least one more. So I got 33 prowess when I release it as two. We see that damage. That's 47,000 right there, not even including those 1,800 ticks. Again, this is only an R3. So tip two. All three five star. Use persistent power to start the fight with massive advantages. We saw some clips at the beginning on that. To reiterate that, you can gain major advantages. Why start with zero bars of power when you could start with one, two, or three? You choose. And don't forget, you get those extra benefits on that as well, too. So here, we're going to go ahead and see I'm starting in this specific case with the one bar of power. And that allows me as over one bar of power. So I'm actually very close to two. I'm able to go ahead and start off the fight, get in the prowess. I'm going to do a similar thing as tip one, uh, get my prowess going up, get my prowess, and then go ahead and launch that S2. And there we go, finish it. And now not only did I finish that fight super ridiculously quick, I actually get to start the next fight with two bars of power. So just simply using two bars each time, especially if you can end the fight with two bars, is a great, great effective way to go. As we're going to see right here now, I'm going to start this fight with two bars of power. So I could just do a bunch of prowess and launch an S2. Could do that all day, right? Hopefully this tutorial helped. Don't forget to click my other tutorials on my playlist, Champ Tutorial Playlist. Don't forget my other walkthroughs of my guys all kinds of good stuff to help you on now get through different parts of the game learn the champs always thanks for watching mcoc al bundy rules